What a part one. That was amazing. Cargath. The guy does not literally take no prisoners. Wow. What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Now, in this video, I am going to be watching a World of Warcraft series. So this is the first part, I believe, of five called Lords of War. So this one is called Kargath. Now, I don't know too much about this character, but I've had a little sneaky look at the teaser trailer and it looks amazing. <clears throat> it looks amazing. So, I didn't spoil it though. I didn't spoil it, but I watched the teaser. So, um, yeah, this is the first one. Um, so, without further ado, let's get into the trailer. Let's go. Blood and gore. King Varian, the hour grows late. You must sign the declaration of war. I was just a child when my father rushed to confront this same evil. He didn't understand these warlords at all. That mistake cost him his life and brought this kingdom to ruin. You are not your father. I know, but how can I succeed where he failed? <laughs> you can start by trusting my counsel. I have faced them before. On Draenor, you were there all those years ago. Yes. Believe me, they are not invincible. Then tell me of them, Marad. Tell me everything. <laughs> Very well. Look at the size of his axe. Kargath oh, had no clan. <laughs> he was raised a slave. <gasps> the ogre's cruelty was intolerable. Kargath was unstoppable, and the day of his final fight had come. One last kill, and it was over. What? Kargath had earned his reward, like every champion before him, buried beneath the arena. The promise of freedom, nothing but a lie. Would be 
chained no longer. Part one, that was amazing. Kargath, the guy does not literally take no prisoners. Wow. This is the part right at the end as well, where he's basically cut his own hand off and he ripped his own arm off to survive. And then he wraps it round him with a weapon. So he's got a blade, a few other guys have got sickles. And you know you're a leader. You know you're something special when you can make other people, in essence, decapitate their own hands to follow you, if you know what I mean. Wow, the shattered hand. So that must be some kind of clan. Um, wow. Right, so, that was amazing. Let me go back to the beginning, watch it one more time, see what I can pick out. King Ferry. The hour grows late. You must sign the declaration of war. I was just a child when my father rushed to confront this same evil. He didn't understand these warlords at all. That mistake cost him his life and brought this kingdom to ruin. You are not your father. I know. But how can I succeed where he failed? You can start by trusting my counsel. Right, I'll pause it because I love this part. So this guy here, I'm I'm presuming is this the king's general and maybe his advisor as well. But the funny thing is, he's walking around with this big ass weapon on his shoulder, just carrying it around casually. And then he just slams it down on the table, doesn't it? Just ruins the whole strategy and the whole plan that the king's put out. I find that funny. And secondly, the king is the guy in Legion as well. So I watched the cinematic uh, probably about three months ago for Legion, which was another amazing um, video. He's definitely the king in that. And I think he's also the father of the um, king in the more recent cinematics. So, you know, the one in Battle for Azeroth and is in Reckoning and Lost Honor and all the rest of the more um, recent ones as well. So, yeah, uh, that's just uh, an observation. Oh. I have faced them before. On Draenor, you were there all those years ago. <laughs> yes. Believe me, they are not invincible. Then tell me of them, Marad. Tell me everything. <laughs> Very well. Kargath had no clan. This is the thing as well, pausing here, because I think what makes it so impressive, like he said there, Kargath had no clan, and the clan is such an important like symbol for them, and he didn't have any, and to not have any, and then still be able to do what he did in this video, is just, it just, it's just testament to kind of like how much of a leader he became. He was raised a slave. <laughs> the ogre's cruelty was intolerable. The 
the crazy thing is, there's a lot of blood and gore in this trailer, yeah? Chopped off arms, decapitated heads, the whole lot, the whole works. But nothing gets me squeamish is a nail, a little tiny nail, a nail coming off someone's finger. That really gets to me. Not, yeah, not the chopped limbs or the cut off heads, a nail coming off someone's finger. That is the thing that gets me. Mm. Oh. So he sought a way out. The arena. One hundred orc lives was the price for freedom. Fight. Kill. Salute. Gath was unstoppable. Beast. And the day of his final fight had come. Do you know what this reminds me of a little bit? Of Gladiator. You know, he has to fight his way up to the top, doesn't he, to get the chance at freedom. But the thing I find ironic is that he's killing his own people or his own race to get the chance at freedom. And the more people he kills, it's almost, it almost works opposite the less chance he actually has of freedom. Because he thinks if he kills his people, he gets freedom. But... It's the people that around him that is killing that he needs to overthrow, obviously, these ogres to get freedom. And I think right at the end he realises that. So anyway. One last kill. And it was over. This part's amazing though. I like this. Kargath had earned his reward. Right, did you check that? The guy's fighting, okay, full armor, got the works, got all the armor, got the sword, got the shield. And this, I'm gonna call him the Emperor. He gives him the sword, doesn't it? But you notice on the sword, it's bandaged up. So it's just an old flimsy sword that was already broken. And it was so flimsy that by the time he threw it to him and it landed on the floor, it had already broken in two. And I love how it showed that even though he had nothing, he had no armour, he had a sword that wasn't even really a sword. Um, he used everything he could to his advantage. So because the sword was shiny, as you saw there, he used the light to blind the guy and then take him out. I love how it showed that, that he's got everything going against him, but he's still able to find an advantage somewhere that everybody else can't see. I like that. It's really, really good. Yeah. Like every champion before him... I wasn't expecting this though. Beneath the arena. I thought, yeah, it's, it's free now. He's, he's got a promise ring. of freedom. Maybe not. Nothing but a lie. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> but Kargath would be chained no longer. So what I also like as well is that scene where he rips his basically he rips his own hand off. It it's it represents two things, or at least for me it represents two things. <clears throat> Physically, him getting away and getting his freedom, the hand comes off. But there's also a symbolic factor to that as well. That 
on his hand, he's got the tattoo on it. He's got the tattoo of the, the, the owner's emblem. He's basically a slave. It's the mark, I'm presuming, of the slave. So by cutting that off, he's also removing the fact that he's a slave as well. So I like, I like how it does that, how it, it takes his hand off so he can get away. But also by doing so, he removes that brand on his body that shows that he's a slave. So he's now literally no longer a slave. No messing about. Bound by vengeance, their name would be spoken in fear. No! This wow. was the birth of the Shattered Hand. Wow. Wow, what? I must have said wow about ten times in the past minute. What a trailer. That was great. That was really, really good. Right, okay. To recap on this one now. Kargath. I love how it shows that he had, he was a slave. He had no clan. And he was able to inspire all these people to not only follow him, but to cut off their own hand to do that as well. I like how it showed that he had nothing and he was fighting, in essence, the people that would help him gain freedom. He was fighting and killing them to try and get his freedom. He was playing by the owner's rules. And when he realised that their rules were always going to go against him, he made his own. So I like how he did that as well. And like I said as well, I like how it showed that taking off his own hand wasn't just him physically being able to escape and, and become no longer a slave. It also removed that mark of being a slave as well. Um, and yeah, and I love the, the, the name Shattered Hand, and then they've all got different types of weapon on that hand as well. Wow. Yeah, so that is, um, yeah, deservedly so, part one of Lords of War. Kargath is definitely a Lord of War. Wow. So yeah, so that kind of wraps up for me today, guys, on this one. Amazing um, trailer. Um, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed my kind of reaction and breakdown of the of the, um, the trailer as well, or the video, should I say. Um, and yeah, if you did, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe for more content like this. Like I said, I will be doing part two, three, four, and five as well. So I'm looking forward to them. Um, yeah, and also if you do subscribe, don't forget to hit that bell icon as well, so you don't miss out on future videos. And I will see you guys in the next one.